British Columbia. Okay, how about a 575? Yep, go ahead. This is 575 Vancouver, Tango India Mike here. Okay, there we go. I got you now. Yeah, I think hopefully my gate's working. I got it going right now, so uh, you could uh, hear yourself and then uh, switch over to the other radio. I'm not sure how long it'll take you to switch over, though. Uh, it doesn't take me long to switch over, but uh, yeah, you're uh, with the two preamps on this ICOM here. Just like you are, man. Roger that. Yeah, here you're about ten over. You're about ten over as well. You're doing pretty good. Roger. Where about exactly are you? Uh, Orange County. I don't know, kind of near Disneyland, Huntington Beach area. Uh, okay. Uh, Roger. Yeah, that's uh, with the second preamp on. I just clicked it on. You're twenty over here. Incredible. Yeah, copy. Not bad, huh? Conditions north south skip. That's good. But I did. How does this uh, radio sound your way? Uh, just on the stock mic here. And, uh, it sounds good too. Now I'm really curious because it kind of sounds similar, you know. So I'd really now I'm curious if you switch over, how it's going to sound. Uh, it's kind of sounds similar to me actually. Okay, uh, give me a second here or two, and uh, I'll switch uh, antenna coaxes here to the uh, Navajo T R four five seven base. So stand by, and I'll switch back over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Standing by. How about that Z28, California, 181, 181, Central Illinois, waving a hand at you. Hey, 181, you sounded good over here. You sounded really good over here, 181. Uh, we hear you loud and clear. <laughs> hey, copy that, copy that. I'm talking on one of the old uh, icons, uh, 751. Oh, copy, that yeah, sounds good. I'm not familiar with the 751. I, of course, everybody knows the, you know, the 746 Pro and all that. I don't know about this. Is that similar to like a 746? Yeah, it's kind of makes you kind of like it. I've I seen that. I, what is it? Uh, I, was, I was thinking the 745. It kind of looks like it, but uh, I can't tell no difference between the 751A and the 751 that I got. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool, man. Uh, I, I just had this thing for about a week now. Oh, nice. That's fun. It's always fun playing with a new radio, right? Well, it sounds good. Definitely sounds good. Hopefully, I probably has a nice, quiet receiver, too. Those radios are pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, really, really quiet, man. I One of the quietest radios I ever had, and well, all the ones I got on here. But, uh, yeah, it's even, uh, I even came with the old uh, Tune with Plus 2 mic. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, that's cool. It sounds good. Yeah. yeah. When you go to a radio that's got a little quieter, receive, not so hissy, man, you don't want to go back. That's the thing. So we were talking earlier, these 7300s, they're not bad, but, you know, they they could be better. You know, it's not like it's the highest end rig, you know. That's what I was, I was talking to 575 about. You know, it's, it's they're good, you know, definitely probably the best bang for the buck on the market right now, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man, that thing's got some good swing to it. And, uh, Between a, a six, all the way, like I said, past a nine, the modulation. Man, it sound like you're a 60 plus. Ah, <laughs> copy. Cool, man. Good to hear that. Well, hey, man. Okay. Go back out of here, Z28. I want to tell you Happy New Year to you and your family. And I uh, hope you had a good Christmas. And uh, 73, my friend. I've been just sitting back, listening to you and a couple other guys talking, just sandbagging. Hey, Roger that. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too, man. Yeah, it's kind of nice to uh, get away from the, you know, the the busy channels and go up and, you know, a little away from the channel. Yeah, actually have some conversations. It's pretty good. So uh, thanks uh, for uh, saying hello and, uh, you know, jumping in there. Uh, we'll see if I'm gonna see if 575 is back. He's switching his radio. So let's see what let's see what uh, let's see how he sounds. Okay, 73. Click click. If you're in there 575, your your signal dropped a lot, but uh, I think it's just because conditions may have changed. Yeah, I think so too. Conditions have just changed in the meantime here. We have a rainstorm in this 
Yeah, you know, from my end, even though the you know, Chris, your signal's weaker, so it's a little unfair to compare. But to me, they kind of sound the same, which is pretty good testament for that, you know, the the CB, you know, because you're comparing it to an HF radio on sideband. So uh, I'd say you're kind of similar sounding, you know, so that's that's pretty good. As far as signal strength, it's hard to tell because, you know, now the, the signal's dropped, you know, the condition's dropped a little. Yeah, you're uh, you're right at the S9. You're like sitting there right at S9. Before you were about 10 over, though, actually almost 20 over at certain points. So, you know, I could just tell you're closer to noise floor now because it's just conditions just drop down a little bit. It's funny because right when you switch rate, that five minute difference or two minute difference kind of kind of did make a difference, unfortunately. So it's it's always hard to always compare. You know, let's got like an A B switch, man. Sometimes sometimes just a couple minutes is <laughs> you know it's already uh, time goes by. I don't get a good comparison. Okay, I copy on a switch back there. Copy. Okay, standing by. Hey, Z28, uh, that time there, man, you were going uh, between a 15 and 17. You was getting me here, man. No way, kid. This is getting better out there in Indiana, huh? Uh, I'm up here in central Illinois, central Illinois. Oh, Illinois, sorry, yeah. I thought you said Indiana for some reason. In Illinois, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to uh, 575, he's in Vancouver, so we're getting some north-south skip. Do you, do you hear him at all, or are you just hearing me? Other people start coming in there. Copy. You know, it's funny. I'm on an IMAX 2000 vertical. Did you try uh, switching over to the vertical to see if I come in better, or are you hearing me better on the on the beam on the flat side? It sounds like you, beam. You're on the flat side. Yeah. Uh, here, here's my uh, uh, here's my ground plane. Uh, you was doing right at a nine. I mean, your modulation's right there. Uh, and it kind of sound the same when you switched, you know, I couldn't even tell. Hey, 10 four. Okay, well, hey, uh, I'm glad I can make it out there to you on the old ground plane, but of course she's up there to the top. Uh, at the top, it's right at 66 feet, so uh, <laughs> I shouldn't show her, I guess. I hear you. No, I don't know. I, I do the same thing. I used to have a, a make a 103C and 104C, and I'd switch that to the IMAX. And most of the time, unless the other station was also running flat side uh, Yagi, the condition, you know, the signal strength was kind of the same. You know, if the other station was vertical, believe it or not, it didn't didn't make that much difference. Kind of interesting. A lot of people talking about that uh, United States East West DX in that um, the F1 layer, you know, skip. Does, it's pretty forgiving when it comes to cross polarization. It seems to rotate. It seems to rotate very often because um, you don't get that big old drop that you know the you know the theoretical cross uh, polarization of 20 plus dB. You don't get that uh, that much. So it's kind of interesting. But I guess in other parts of the world, people are saying they they do see it, but we don't see it much. Uh, east south, or I'm sorry, east west um, United States F1 layer skip. So that's what I've noticed. You know. I don't know if you noticed that too, but kind of cool. So, all right, 181. Good chat with you. I uh, got Z28 here. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Uh, give one 575 one last try. He was dropping out, so we'll see if I can get him one last time before I before I go. Have a good one there, 181. Click, click. How about a 575? It's doubled. Seventy-five and Z twenty-eight doubled. Okay, thank you. I don't hear him. I can just barely hear him. I can't really understand him. Yeah, this is the conditions are just starting to get worse. That's a bummer. Who's that? Number one? 
I think he said number one. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I got a couple, three guys talking to me at the same time. Number one, South Dakota. That's 575 in Vancouver, British Columbia. you there, California. You copy that or no? Nah, I could barely. It's like in the floor, noise floor. I appreciate you uh, being the, doing the uh, five there, though. Interesting. <laughs> Where you're at, you're able to kind of hear both of us. Yeah, you're both coming in. Right now I can all of a sudden hear him really good. I don't know if he turned his beam towards me or what. Yeah, you're gone, he said. Yeah, I think it's conditions. I mean, that's that's the way that's the way it goes. All right, well, I'm going to duck out of here, you guys. Number one, South Dakota. I'll be quiet. Yeah, I appreciate there, number one, South Dakota. Good sounding, by the way. You're like 20 over, doing good. Uh, I got to really jump out of here. I got to get to, I, I, I gotta get back to work. So uh, we'll, we'll see 73, and we'll catch you guys uh, later on. Take care, take care. 143, Northern 